When the COVID-19 pandemic emerged, hospitals had had to stop all but the most urgent non-COVID care. The result was a dramatic slowdown in volume of patients and in revenue, while expenses remained high. To date, no one knows when and to what degree these patients will return. The result has been an unprecedented impact and an uncertain future about the ability of hospitals to serve the communities and remain financially viable. In this video, we analyze the effect of COVID-19 on hospitals and health systems. First, we need to better understand the financial burdens brought by COVID-19. The American Hospital Association did so by undertaking four analyses to better understand and quantify the financial challenges brought by COVID-19. Their estimates show a total four-month financial impact of $202.6 billion in losses for America's hospitals and health systems, or an average of $50.7 billion per month. The American Hospital Association estimated the net financial impact of COVID-19 hospitalizations over the four-month period to be $36.6 billion. In other words, the nation's hospitals and health systems will collectively lose $36.6 billion, including payments for COVID-19 patients from March to June 2020, treating COVID-19 patients alone. The AHA estimates that as a result of canceled hospital services due to the pandemic, U.S. non-federal hospitals stand to lose approximately $161.4 billion in revenue over a period of four months from March to June 20. This includes canceled surgeries, various levels of canceled non-elective surgeries and outpatient treatment, and reduced emergency department services. Hospital and health system revenues have declined sharply as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. These measures have resulted in adjusted discharges, a measure that accounts for both inpatient and outpatient services, decreasing by 13% from the previous year. These losses in revenue have been met with a sharp increase in costs for hospitals since the beginning of the pandemic. COVID-19 outbreaks in parts of the country have resulted in surges in hospitalizations and ICU patients. The CDC estimated the cumulative hospitalization rate to be 29.2 per 100,000 people, with even higher rates for Medicare age individuals, 95.5 per 100,000 individuals, and adults aged 50 to 64, around 47.2 per 100,000 individuals. COVID-19 related hospitalizations are associated with high cost of treatment. The Kaiser Family Foundation estimates that the cost of treating a patient with COVID-19 could be more than $20,000 and over 88,000 for patients that require ventilator support. A study by Fairhealth estimated the average cost of treating patients with commercial coverage to be 38K. At the same time, experts anticipate that millions of Americans could become uninsured given the spike in unemployment. The number of people without insurance could increase to over 40 million. These coverage losses put families at financial risk and increase uncompensated care at hospitals. Hospitals have already seen some of the effects manifest. Bad debt and charity care increased 13% over the previous year in March. The AHA estimates the non-treatment costs for hospitals and health systems to be $2.4 billion over a period of four months from March to June 2020, or roughly $600 million per month. Demand for equipment and supplies such as PPE has increased as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Hospitals have incurred additional costs as they struggle to acquire additional supplies to meet the needs of their patients and staff. Moreover, current guidelines require all hospital workers to wear some PPE, regardless of whether they are in direct contact with COVID-19 patients. These guidelines increase the need and expense for PPE relative to normal operations. The Society for Healthcare Organization Procurement Professionals estimated that costs of certain medical supplies have increased tenfold since the beginning of the pandemic. Hospitals in New York City reported paying four times the usual price for medical gloves and 15 times the usual price for masks. Many hospitals are experiencing increased overtime costs as hospitals experience a surge in patients or frontline workers become sick. Some hospitals have implemented bonus pay for frontline employees. Some have turned to staffing firms to address healthcare worker shortages or meet surge demand, and staffing firms have increased their prices due to an increase in demand for healthcare workers. In addition, hospitals and health systems are working to develop solutions that meet the needs of employees. The AHA estimates the cost of support for frontline hospital workers in COVID-19 hotspots to be $2.2 billion through the end of June, or just under $550 million per month. This includes the cost of providing childcare, housing, transportation, and medical screening and treatment for COVID-19 for the frontline workers. This estimate could increase as more outbreaks of COVID-19 occur 
or if the policy decision was made to extend these benefits to all health care workers during the pandemic. Funding from the CARES Act distributed in April and May, along with estimated distribution in June, is mitigating that impact to a certain degree. Median margins are forecast to drop 3% in the second quarter of 2020. However, those margins would have been minus 15% without CARES Act funding. Forecasts show that without further government support, margins could sink to 7% in the second half of 2020. This is an unsustainable level for America's hospitals. Thank you for following along with our video. There's no doubt this time has brought financial burdens to many of our businesses and changed the way in which we live. We hope you all stay safe.